All right, how's it going, everybody? This is Kinema, and I'm back with some more Clash Royale. Um, so this time, uh, what I wanted to do is uh, do a little bit different. I know I'd been doing some uh, put the mic a little bit closer, uh, some case openings or some box or some chest openings, whatever you want to call it. I want to kind of go through a little bit about my current deck I'm using. Now, I've been testing out a couple different ones. This one is all air. Um, everything there it it's tricky the average cost is pretty high on that so um i had some success with it the but let's let's talk about this one so average cost 3.8 it's not too bad from what i found uh mainly because if you look at that barbarian hut it's actually pretty high and uh but i'm using the skeletons skeletons are pretty cool uh if we look at that we big you know mine uh are level five damage pretty decent i guess but the count is four so you get four skeletons for only one elixir which actually turns out to be very good the our main skeleton army this one is good for any type of big melee uh if you want to burn them down pretty quick as long as they don't use the other thing that we're using is the uh the arrows um so the baby dragon don't really need to go too much detail on that ground and air he's actually pretty powerful and the fact that he's air and he he soaks up a lot of hits um is a good defense at the time that was my only uh really air besides using some of these huts down here now i have switched um i was using these other goblins which are level five but i just got my um one goblins up to level six the spear goblins and so i switched to those and they're actually doing pretty good uh, if we look at the arrows my arrows are level five <clears throat> not too bad area damage that's really good for just just taking out like little things like goblins or skeletons or different things like that <clears throat> so i am using the spear goblins now you can see hit points 83 damage spawns three of them for two uh elixir now this is really why my cost is up pretty high so seven um elixir for the barbarian hut now this thing is actually very good um, but it does cost a lot of elixir and it basically just Barbarians just constantly run out of it, which is actually pretty good. Um, then I use the Goblin Hut. Another nice thing, these are the Spear Goblins, so uh, they can hit the air as well. And then I use the Goblin Barrel. The Goblin Barrel is actually <laughs> kind of like the rarity. It's pretty epic. Uh, so this you can kind of fling troops all the way across the field. Uh, depending on the circumstance, they can get burned down quite a bit. Uh, so you have to kind of watch when you do it, but it just spawns three goblins. It actually does quite a bit of damage, uh, I must say. So especially you're putting them right up next to what they want to hit. So it works out. So let's go ahead and get right into, if we look at a, let's watch a couple of my victories. Uh, if you look through my battle log victory, I did, I did lose it there. It's kind of sucked. It was like last minute. Um, victory, victory draw um looking up what i'm up against the priest or the prince the the giant the uh, goblin barrel as well uh, i was a pretty good match another draw the big skeleton the giant skeleton um you know uh pika a witch i mean they use a lot of big powerful uh troops and and i was able to kind of hold them off and actually let's watch let's watch that one um because that one is even though it's, it was a draw, I think it's worth watching just for the fact that they have so many powerful troops. So you can see they have the giant, the witch, the and the pika right off the bat that they could drop. And looks like they're getting ready to drop the giant. Now I dropped down the uh, goblin hut. Um, not too bad. They dropped the, the giant and the pika at the same time. He's, he's running in there. Um, all those skeletons or no i dropped all those <laughs> it's different doing the plane versus the replay you can kind of see the the skeletons just kind of burn those down now this is when i was still using the goblins versus the spear goblins so a lot of those pikas and stuff i couldn't actually take out but you, there you go you see the goblin barrel kind of fall on there not too bad um they did drop their skeletons down to take them out but they did a number on that tower and so what am I going to drop next? Am I going to get enough for the... Yeah, get enough for the dragon. Nope. Go with a hut. So, makes sense. You see the big giant skeleton down now. He's pretty powerful. So I dropped some little skeletons down to kind of stop him. He's bashing on those. He basically one-shots them. They do a little bit of damage. 
But the biggest thing is to keep him off the tower. And now when he dies, he drops a bomb. And you want to keep that bomb away from the tower, as you can see there. Didn't do that good of a job because it did get closer. Actually, it may have been the Pika that, that started doing some damage. Um, so they do kind of burn this down. Now, this is why I kind of switched up is I really didn't have too much for some of the different air. So I really needed like the spear goblins to, to kind of help counteract that. So they do take out one of mine at the same time I take out one of theirs. Now we're coming up a minute and 24 seconds left, about a minute and 20 seconds left. When, after a minute, you get the two times elixir and everything starts going a little fast and, and kind of rush in there and you can kind of see the direction we take. Let's speed this up a little bit. So speed it up a lot. <laughs> so you can kind of see he puts that right down there. The nice thing about having these barrels is it kind of plays as a distraction. Um, so you can kind of distract, you know, the witches, the, the big skeletons, the everything. And I start putting down building after building. They keep trying to take them down, but they keep putting these big troops. They're going after those buildings, which are very great. And see, I kind of get in there. It's coming up on the timer. Oh, almost so, so close. So we go into sudden death, which is a, a one minute of overtime. And you can kind of see, in, we're both at one and one, and that's where we ended up. But you can kind of see we... This army worked very well for all these heavy troops to keep them at bay, which uh, which I like. So let's go ahead and get out of this one. So turn the main menu and let's go into another one. Let's go into the one of the ones I want. So this is victory right up top. Let's go ahead and watch this. So this was a pretty good victory. <laughs> he wasn't too happy at the end of it. Um, see, level six. I am a level higher, so he does have a little bit more work to do, but... Really, 100 hit points on these towers is not much when you build your troops right. So he's actually went ahead and maxed out. He waited till my uh, dragon got a little closer, and then he dropped his. He dropped the hut. Starts burning it down. And see, I'm almost maxed out on Elixir 2, so I go ahead and build the one hut for the barbarians. Start putting down some spear troops to take care of that dragon. And kind of get past that first layer of troops. Now, they do get the uh, the witch out there. Um, as you can see, I'm getting ready to put down the second building. So, and those things just constantly spawn troops like over and over again. So it's very nice. So you don't have to sit there and worry about elixir. Now they did have a, uh, Valk, uh, the Valkyrie, uh, Valkyrie, and they are kind of tough because uh, they do one shot a lot of those little troops, except the barbarians. Barbarians can take a few hits with them. Um, but you can kind of see you're just flooding the troops in there and trying to hope to do some damage i'm waiting for that four elixir points to come up uh connection lost why do you connection lost that's not good let's speed this up i want to show you the victory um just speed this up a lot so blah 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 we've already seen this Keep going, burn down, down, burn, burn the witch down, do that, do that thing. We get up to about where the goblin barrel is going, and we start burning the rest of the stuff down. So, I actually threw the, the barrel at the other tower, so it's actually doing some work on there. We're at half speed, so I should talk really, really slow. Um, now they used this was interesting. I haven't seen the rage spell. They did use the rage spell try to get that that prince in there to start doing some damage on that tower Which he did get a couple of hits, but You know I start putting down some of those lower troops Drop down the skeletons take care of that finish that knight. Those knights are actually pretty powerful, too the, uh, the the knights do have quite a bit of hit points you can see that Valkyrie just kind of destroyed them I did get the barbarians dip back down so they can do a little bit of work on that Valkyrie and she doesn't actually kill them Which is good. Uh, they do put a witch. They do put a prince those big troops. I do put the uh, the barrel over there now. I didn't have to Go towards the other one. There was a lot of troops next to that one it is good practice, I guess, to try to burn one down because you never know how it's going to end. Um, but that's going to burn it down right there. And they get right on there. Oh, and he is frustrated. I'm glad these replays show the comments that people make. Because uh, sometimes, I've seen some that are like, you know, good game. And I and, uh, think after they do one good thing or something and basically, you know, act like you're done with and you come back and beat them. It's, 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 it's sweet. It's awesome. Um... So that's a couple of them. Let's, uh, but you can see, what should the draws, victory, defeat, draw, victory, victory, 
Um, so a few de defeats in here, but the majority of these, since I've been using this one particular build, with the exception of the goblins, goblins is the only thing I've, I, I chose out, uh, I've been winning. So a lot of victories. So this, this layout, and I'll go back into the deck again so you can kind of see, um, this layout is actually working very good for me. Uh, now I am only at arena three, so it's probably different than the higher up arenas. And but arena three, this this layout is is working very well. So let's uh, what's what's all going on in here? Let's <laughs> let's see if we can beat uh, actually my sister. Um, she probably wasn't ready for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, so put the, all those skeletons, you can't get, you can't get through there. <laughs> this is slowly trying. I feel bad. I don't want to get too cocky. She could come back. I mean, it's, it's, uh, you know. But I kind of flip flop. I mean, it's it's. I don't know the best strategies. Like I said I just started this game. It, it is is this new out there as of March first, uh, at least for some of it. Some people was in beta, and one of the guys in the in our clan was in beta, and he's played it a little bit longer than most of us. Um, so I don't know if there is any decent strategy yet. Um, like I said, I'm still learning, but I do try to, I mean, those funnel troops out to one side, so it kind of keeps them preoccupied and usually people are more amped to attack on that side. And even if they don't, the, um, the nice thing about it. Oh, is it nice? I didn't want them to go back. So the nice thing about, you know, the, uh, I guess hitting from the, the both sides though, is the fact that, you know, you, it, you can help prevent a loss by working on some of the, both of the, the town halls and, or both of the towers. Nice. It's, it, it, sometimes I hate the fact that some of the troops will just turn around instantly when you throw something down, but sometimes I love it, especially when it works in your favor. Um, so this one is lower, plus we got the dragon going over there. <laughs> oh, now she dropped the giant. Um, put that out. So now I'll try. There's a lot of lot of activity over here. Um, I'm already up with two of the towers, so I might as well try for a, a win. I knew she was gonna get that tower. Wow, that's a lot of troops. And they're just, they die. That is her, her chance to win, though. She could kind of get take my, uh, my, my king out. Um, so, it is always a risk. Let's recount down. And that's it. So, Victory, I mean, it's probably, I, I am higher than her, um, so. I'll type in here. I should have used the little, the little thing. Um, so. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm loving this game, as you can tell. So try it out. Le leave it, if you use it, something uh, different than this and is working for you, definitely leave it down in the comments. Uh, if you're try out this build and you actually like it and have some success with it, you know, um, make sure to kind of share the video and, and, uh, tell some people about my channel. Cause I am, uh, <laughs> my channel has been out there for a little bit, but uh, I am still kind of new at a lot of the YouTube stuff. So definitely, uh, you know, hit that like button and, uh, you know, spread the word. Um, more, uh, Clash Royale videos coming. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody. This has been Kenema and I'll talk to you later.